From brawling cowboys to ruthless gangsters to sci-fi villains, William Smith spent decades dominating the screen. His characters were raw, his presence undeniable, and his stare could cut steel. With unwavering intensity and an imposing physique, he redefined the Hollywood tough guy. Right that mouth of yours is gonna get you in a whole lot of trouble. Shaping generations of action films, but the tough guy persona masked a man wrestling with tragedies and personal demons. Join us as we delve into the life story of William Smith, a story marked by both triumphs and struggles, from Missouri to California, the early years. William Emmett Smith was born on March 24, 1933, in Columbia, Missouri, to William Emmett Smith and Emily Smith. His childhood, spent on his family's cattle ranch, shaped both his character and his future career. The ranch fostered a love for the classic Western lifestyle, along with the grit and determination needed to thrive in that environment. He spent his days helping his father with the cattle, riding horses, and exploring the wide open spaces of the American West. When he was just eight years old, his family packed up and moved to Southern California, trading the wide open spaces of Missouri for the bright lights of Hollywood. It was a bold move, but one that would prove to be the catalyst for Smith's incredible career. A bold move took the family to Southern California when Smith was eight, a shift from rural vastness to the bright lights of Hollywood. Seemingly destined for the screen, he quickly caught the acting bug. Appearing as an uncredited extra, he rubbed shoulders with some of the biggest stars of the day, including Lon Chaney Jr. and Judy Garland. Young Smith was hooked on the magic of movie making. This early exposure paid off. Over the next few years, Smith appeared in a string of classic films, including The Ghost of Frankenstein, The Song of Bernadette, and Meet Me in St. Louis. He was just a kid, but he was already making his mark in Hollywood. His talent was undeniable, promising an even brighter future. But it was that childhood on the ranch that would truly shape his path. The rugged individualism, the love of the outdoors, and the sense of adventure became hallmarks of his acting style. He brought a unique authenticity to his roles, a believability that came from having lived a life close to the land. There was a spark of genius about him, a natural charisma that drew people in. Even as a child, he commanded attention, demanding people take notice. Military might and athletic prowess. At age 18, Smith made the decision to enlist in the United States Air Force. It was a bold move, but one that he felt compelled to make. He had always been drawn to the idea of serving his country, and the Air Force seemed like the perfect place to do just that. During his time in the service, Smith proved to be an exceptional recruit. He quickly rose through the ranks, impressing his superiors with his intelligence, his dedication, and his natural leadership abilities. He even managed to master four foreign languages, Russian, German, French, and Serbo-Croatian, a skill that would later prove invaluable in his acting career. But Smith's military service wasn't just learning languages. He also flew secret missions over Russia and other Eastern Bloc countries during the height of the Cold War. It was dangerous work, but one he embraced with his characteristic bravery and determination. His success in the Air Force earned Smith top security clearance, and he began to consider a career in intelligence work after his service was complete. He even started taking classes at some of the most prestigious universities in the world, including Syracuse, Munich, and the Sorbonne in Paris. Not just a good student, he was also an incredible athlete, with a particular talent for boxing and discus throwing. He won the Air Force Light Heavyweight Boxing Championship, and even competed as a champion discus thrower at UCLA. But that's not all. Smith was also a two-time winner of the 200-pound World Arm Wrestling Championship and he held black belts in multiple martial arts disciplines, including Kung Fu and Kenpo Karate. He even played semi-pro football in Germany and competed in motocross and downhill skiing events. It's hard to imagine how one man could excel in so many different areas, but that was just the kind of person Smith was. He had an insatiable appetite for life, a desire to push himself to the limits and see how far he could go. The Road to Hollywood but for all his military and athletic achievements, Smith never lost sight of his true passion, acting. 
even as he was studying at some of the world's most prestigious universities, he was always looking for ways to break into the industry. His big break came while he was working towards his doctorate. He had always been a standout student, with a keen intellect and an insatiable curiosity. But he also had a magnetic presence, a charisma that was impossible to ignore. It was this combination of intelligence and star power that caught MGM Studios' eye. They saw something special in Smith, a raw talent that they knew could be honed into something truly extraordinary. So they offered him a contract, and he jumped at the chance. He knew this was his moment, his opportunity to finally make his mark on the world of entertainment. Breaking into the industry has never been easy, even for someone as talented as Smith. He started out working as a stuntman, taking on some of the most dangerous and challenging roles in the business. It was a tough job, but he approached it with his characteristic bravery and determination. He quickly gained a reputation as one of the most fearless and skilled stuntmen in the industry, willing to take on any challenge that came his way. But even as he was making a name for himself as a stuntman, Smith knew he wanted more. He had his sights set on becoming a leading man, a star in his own right. It wasn't going to be easy, though. He faced plenty of challenges along the way, from typecasting to discrimination based on his muscular physique and tough guy image. Hollywood could be a ruthless place, and there were plenty of people who were all too willing to pigeonhole Smith based on his appearance alone. But he refused to be deterred. He knew that he had the talent and the drive to succeed, no matter what obstacles were placed in his way. And so he pressed on, taking on any role that came his way, no matter how small or seemingly insignificant. He worked tirelessly to hone his craft, studying with some of the most respected acting coaches in the business and putting in countless hours of practice and preparation. Slowly but surely, Smith began to make a name for himself. He started landing bigger and better roles, showcasing his incredible range and versatility as an actor. From cop to cowboy, conquering the small screen. As the 1960s dawned, William Smith's star was on the rise. He had already made a name for himself in Hollywood, but it was his move to the small screen that would rocket him to stardom, making him a household name overnight. In 1961, Smith landed a regular role on the ABC television series The Asphalt Jungle, portraying the tough-as-nails police sergeant Danny Keller. It was a role that perfectly suited his rugged charm and undeniable screen presence. He brought a sense of grit and authenticity to the character, making Keller feel like a real cop walking the beat on the mean streets of the city. From 1965 to 1967, Smith starred as Joe Riley, a hard-nosed Texas Ranger, on the NBC Western series Laredo. With his steely gaze and no-nonsense attitude, Smith made Riley a character to be reckoned with. He was the kind of lawman who always got his man, no matter the cost. Of course, Smith wasn't content to just stick to one type of role. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, he guest-starred in a wide variety of television series, showcasing his incredible range and versatility as an actor. He could be the villain one week, the hero the next, and everything in between. On Gunsmoke, he played a ruthless outlaw with a heart of gold. On Death Valley Days, he brought to life the gritty realities of life in the Old West. His most memorable television role came in 1976 when he portrayed the villainous Anthony Falconetti in the miniseries Rich Man, Poor Man. Falconetti was a character of pure malevolence, a gangster with a heart as black as coal. Smith sunk his teeth into the role, bringing a sense of menace and danger to every scene he was in. The performance was so powerful that Smith was asked to reprise the role in the sequel, Rich Man, Poor Man Book Two. Once again, he delivered a tour de force performance, cementing Falconetti as one of the most iconic villains in television history. Through it all, he brought a sense of raw masculinity and undeniable charisma to his roles. He was the kind of actor who could command the screen with just a look, who could make even the most unlikable characters feel sympathetic. Redefining the tough guy, Smith's cinematic influence. But it wasn't just on the small screen where William Smith made his mark. He also had a long and storied career in film, taking on some of the most iconic roles of his generation, 
Perhaps his most famous film role came in 1980 when he starred alongside Clint Eastwood in the action-packed Any Which Way You Can. Smith played Jack Wilson, a bare-knuckle fighter with fists of steel and a heart of gold. The chemistry between Smith and Eastwood was undeniable, and their climactic fight scene has gone down in cinematic history as one of the most brutal and unforgettable ever filmed. That wasn't the first time he had starred in an iconic fight scene. A decade earlier, in 1970, he had appeared opposite Rod Taylor in the neo-noir classic Darker Than Amber. The two men engaged in a vicious brawl that left both of them battered and bruised, with Smith suffering three broken ribs and Taylor a broken nose. But Smith was insanely dedicated to his craft and was willing to put his body on the line for the sake of a great scene. In 1982, Smith took on a different kind of role when he played Conan's father in the sword and sorcery epic Conan the Barbarian. Though his screen time was brief, Smith brought a sense of gravitas and nobility to the character, setting the stage for the epic adventure to come. Two years later, he played a very different kind of father figure in the Cold War thriller Red Dawn. As Soviet Colonel Strelnikov, Smith was a formidable adversary for the group of American teenagers fighting against the Russian invasion. His steely gaze and imposing presence made him a villain to be reckoned with. But Smith's filmography was more than iconic roles in big-budget blockbusters. He also starred in a number of cult classics throughout his career, particularly in the early 1970s. The most infamous of the cult classics was Invasion of the Bee Girls, a schlocky sci-fi flick about a group of women who are transformed into murderous mutants after being impregnated by radioactive bees. Smith played a scientist tasked with stopping the invasion, and his performance was a perfect blend of campy humor and genuine menace, blaxploitation, and biker flicks. As the 1970s rolled on, William Smith found himself at the center of two of the decade's most popular and rising genres, blaxploitation and biker movies. In the world of blaxploitation cinema, Smith was a regular presence. He starred alongside Fred Williamson in two of the most famous examples of the genre, Hammer and Boss. In both films, he played the villain to Williamson's hero, bringing his trademark intensity and menace to the roles. But it was in the world of biker movies where he truly made his mark. He starred in a number of the genre's most famous films, including Chrome and Hot Leather and CC and Company. In Chrome and Hot Leather, Smith plays the leader of a motorcycle gang that gets caught up in a web of violence and betrayal. The film was a gritty, no-holds-barred look at the biker lifestyle, and Smith's performance was a big part of what made it work. But CC and Company became one of his most iconic biker movie roles. The film starred Joe Namath as a football player who gets caught up with a motorcycle gang led by Anne Margaret, and Smith played a rival gang leader named Moon. Smith's performance as Moon was a standout, showcasing his ability to bring depth and nuance to even the most over-the-top characters. He portrayed Moon as a man who was both ruthless and honorable, a leader who commanded respect from his men even as he walked the line between right and wrong. The blaxploitation and biker movie genre may have been a product of its time, but Smith's performances in these films have stood the test of time. These genres have faded from the mainstream, their influence can still be felt in the world of cinema today. Directors like Quentin Tarantino and Robert Rodriguez have cited these films as major influences on their own work, and the gritty, no-holds-barred style that Smith helped pioneer continues to be a major force in the world of action and exploitation cinema. More than muscle, fighting type casting. For all his talent and hard work, William Smith's path to Hollywood stardom was far from easy. Throughout his career, he faced numerous challenges and obstacles, not least of which was the industry's tendency to typecast him in certain roles. With his rugged good looks and muscular physique, Smith was often cast as the tough guy, the villain, or the supporting character. He was rarely given the opportunity to showcase his full range as an actor, to take on the leading roles that he so desperately desired. It was a frustrating situation for him, who knew that he had so much more to offer than just his impressive physique. He wanted to be taken seriously as an actor, to be given the chance to explore different types of characters and showcase his versatility. But the discrimination he faced in the industry was pervasive. 
Casting directors and producers seem to have a hard time looking past his tough guy image, pigeonholing him into the same types of roles over and over again. For a lesser actor, such challenges might have been enough to break their spirit. But not William Smith. He remained dedicated to his craft, determined to prove he was more than just a one-trick pony. He continued to work hard, taking on any role that came his way, no matter how small or seemingly insignificant. He studied with the top acting coaches in the business, honing his skills and perfecting his technique. Slowly but surely, his perseverance began to pay off. He started landing more leading roles, showcasing his incredible range and depth as an actor. Critics began to take notice, praising his performances and recognizing him as one of the most talented actors of his generation. It was a hard-fought battle, but in the end, William Smith emerged victorious. He had proven that he was more than just a tough guy with a pretty face. He was a true artist, a master of his craft, and a force to be reckoned with in the world of Hollywood. Triumphs and turmoil, addiction and financial woes. Despite his incredible success and achievements, William Smith's life was not without its challenges. Throughout his career, he struggled with personal demons that threatened to derail everything he had worked so hard to build. One of the biggest challenges he faced was addiction. Like many in the entertainment industry, he found himself drawn to the allure of drugs and alcohol, using them as a means of coping with the pressure and stress of his high-profile career. At first, it was just a way to relax after a long day on set or to celebrate a particularly successful project. But over time, Smith's use of drugs and alcohol began to spiral out of control, consuming more and more of his time and energy. It was a dark period in his life, one that threatened to destroy everything he had worked so hard to achieve. But even in the midst of his struggles, he never lost sight of who he was and what he was capable of. He knew he needed help, and he was determined to get it. With the support of his family and friends, he checked himself into rehab, beginning the long and difficult process of getting clean and sober. It was a battle that would test him in ways he never could have imagined. But through sheer force of will and an unshakable determination, Smith emerged from rehab a changed man, ready to take on the world once again. Apart from addiction, he also struggled with financial difficulties, particularly in the later years of his career. Despite his many successes, he found himself facing mounting debts and dwindling opportunities, forcing him to declare bankruptcy in the 1990s. It was a humbling experience for a man who had once been on top of his game, but even in the face of such adversity, he refused to give up. He continued to work hard, taking on any role that came his way and using his talents to bring depth and nuance to each performance. Learning from the Masters, Work with Cinema's Finest. Throughout his long and storied career, William Smith had the opportunity to work with some of the biggest names in Hollywood. From legendary directors to iconic actors, he collaborated with the best of the best, leaving an indelible mark on the world of cinema. One of his most famous collaborations was with Clint Eastwood, the legendary actor and director who had made a name for himself in the world of westerns and action movies. Smith and Eastwood first worked together on the set of Any Which Way You Can, where their on-screen chemistry was undeniable. But Eastwood was just one of many iconic directors he had the privilege of working with over the years. He also collaborated with the likes of Martin Scorsese, the master of gritty, realistic filmmaking, and Michael Mann, the visionary behind such classics as Heat and The Last of the Mohicans. One of Smith's most impressive collaborations was with Francis Ford Coppola, the legendary director behind such classics as The Godfather and Apocalypse Now. Smith had a small but memorable role in Coppola's 1983 film The Outsiders, where he shared the screen with young Tom Cruise and played the role of a store clerk. Not just big directors, he also shared the screen with some of the biggest names in acting, from Arnold Schwarzenegger to Sylvester Stallone to Charles Bronson. In each of these collaborations, Smith brought his trademark professionalism and dedication to the table. He was known for his ability to bring out the best in his co-stars, elevate their performances, and make them shine even brighter. It was a skill that earned him the respect and admiration of his peers, 
who knew that when they worked with William Smith, they were working with one of the best in the business. Martial Arts and Bodybuilding Achievements For William Smith, acting was just one of his many passions. Throughout his life, he was also deeply devoted to the worlds of bodybuilding and martial arts, pursuing both with the same intensity and dedication that he brought to his performances on screen. Smith's love affair with bodybuilding began early in his life. He was always a naturally athletic person, with a physique that turned heads wherever he went. But it wasn't until he started competing in bodybuilding contests that he truly found his calling. Over the years, he won numerous titles in the sport, including Mr. America and Mr. California. He was known for his incredible discipline and work ethic, spending hours in the gym each day to sculpt his impressive physique. But for Smith, bodybuilding was more than just winning titles or looking good. It was a way of life, a means of pushing himself to be the best version of himself he could be. He approached each workout with the same focus and determination that he brought to his acting, always striving to be better than he was the day before. Alongside his bodybuilding pursuits, he was also a dedicated martial artist. He held a black belt in karate and studied a variety of other disciplines over the years, including Kung Fu and Kenpo Karate. For him, martial arts were a way of honing not just his body, but his mind and spirit. He was fascinated by the philosophy behind each discipline, the idea that through rigorous training and self-discipline, one could achieve a higher level of consciousness and understanding. But he didn't just keep his martial arts skills to himself. He was passionate about using his knowledge to help others, particularly those who were vulnerable or in need of protection. He often used his expertise to teach self-defense classes in his community, particularly to women and children who were at risk of violence or abuse. It was a way for Smith to give back, use his talents and abilities to make a real difference in the world. And his efforts did not go unnoticed. Over the years, he was recognized numerous times for his contributions to the martial arts community, both as a practitioner and as a teacher. Cameras, marriages and family. Despite his incredible success in Hollywood, William Smith was a man who valued his personal life and relationships above all. He was married twice during his life and had two children who meant the world to him. Smith's first marriage was to Michelle Smith, whom he wed in 1969. The couple was together for 20 years until Michelle's tragic death in 1989. It was a devastating loss for Smith, who had built a life and a family with the woman he loved. But even in the face of such tragedy, he found the strength to carry on. He threw himself into his work, pouring his heart and soul into every role he took on. Slowly he began to heal, finding a way forward in the wake of such an incredible loss. It was during this time that Smith met Joanne Cervelli, the woman who would become his second wife. The couple married in the early 1990s and remained together until Smith's death. Throughout their marriage, Cervelli was a constant source of support and strength for Smith. She stood by him through the ups and downs of his career, through the triumphs and the challenges that come with life in the spotlight. Together, the couple built a life that was rich in love and family. They cherished their time together, whether it was spent on the set of one of Smith's many films or simply enjoying each other's company at home. As he continued to take on new roles and tackle new challenges in his career, he never lost sight of what truly mattered. He remained devoted to his wife and children, always putting their needs and happiness above his own. Final Years, Reflections, and Lasting Impact as William Smith entered his final years, he showed no signs of slowing down. Despite his age and the many challenges he had faced throughout his life, he remained as dedicated as ever to his craft, continuing to work in the film and television industry right up until the end. In fact, one of his most memorable roles came in the later years of his career, when he appeared as the iconic Marlboro Man in a series of television commercials. Even in the eighth decade of life, he held unparalleled charisma, but Smith's final years were not just his acting career. He also found time to pursue other passions, including writing. In 2009, he published a book of poetry entitled The Poetic Works of William Smith, showcasing a different side of his creative talents. 
It was a surprising move for a man who had made his name as a tough guy actor, but he was more than a tough guy. He was a man of many talents and interests, and he was never afraid to explore them, even in the face of public expectations or stereotypes. Sadly, Smith's incredible life came to an end on July 5, 2021, when he passed away at the Motion Picture and Television Country House and Hospital in Los Angeles. He was 88 years old at the time of his death. The news of his death sent shockwaves through the entertainment industry, with fans and colleagues mourning the loss of a true icon. Many took to social media to share their memories of Smith, recalling his incredible talent, his infectious charisma, and his unwavering dedication to his craft. In the days and weeks that followed, more details began to emerge about the circumstances surrounding Smith's death. It was initially reported that he had died of hepatitis, old age and weakness, a stark reminder of the toll that a lifetime in the spotlight can take on even the strongest and most resilient of individuals. As we look back on his incredible life and career, it's impossible not to be inspired by the example he set. William Smith was a man who never gave up, who never stopped pushing himself to be better, to do more, and to make a difference in the world. And though he may be gone, his legacy will live on, inspiring generations of actors, athletes, and dreamers to follow in his footsteps and make their own mark on the world. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.